Ah, righty then. So, Delaw's fleet eventually won. Actually, pretty handily won. It was like 5-3. to three. And that's counting my own vote for that. But anyway, so, doing this completely casual, haven't looked at Delaw's fleet in like a year, pretty much since I unlocked them. Um, I have beaten this before, but I don't remember much. I will try to... I will probably be evil, even though that means I'm going to lose Seema and the other people to the Federation. And I'll try to use nuclear weapons as often or as optimal as I can. I'm not pre-playing this. I'm not using cheat codes. I need to make sure I don't have any on, actually. And, yeah. This will get slow and boring at points, and I apologize, but that's just how it's going to be. So, I'll go shut up for five minutes. Utsuseki, WO80, 1月 1日. ジオン公国と地球連邦による戦い、一年戦争が終結した。ジオン公国は戦争を主導してきたザビ家の血筋を失い、地球連邦政府との講和に応じたのである。これにより戦争を戦い抜いてきたジオン軍の将兵も次々
Um, and the Zamo. Zaku won. Hi, Gog. One of these things. Rhino. Um. I can't remember what this one was called, but it's the Dom under the United uh, Maintenance Plan. I thought Delaz was supposed to be piloting it, but it might be different in this one. Uh, that's a Valvaro, I believe. It's a modified B grow with uh, with some weird kind of eye field thing. Um, Ko actually fought it in Stardust Memory and shot it down. I will get rid of that as quickly as I can because I freaking hate those things. Um, Zaku R1s. No pilots. Oh. It's a Musai late class with that guy. He is. He looks weird. Um, Gato. I can't remember his name, but he's one of Gato's friends who fought with him at Solomon. That's a Zanzibar. Oh, hey, we start with Sima. Um, we'll get the Gerbera Tetra later. I don't think I'll be good enough to get the GPO4. You have to have max law for that. and Or you have to have over 750 law for that. And since I'll be using nukes, I lose 10% of my law score every time I attack. I have a lot of Zaku 1s for some reason. Also, yeah. Zaku 1s just do so little damage. That's the Guadon class Guadon. Some Droxies. These are Zaku bodies on uh, modified for space, and they don't have arms or legs. You know, the right arm's a Vulcan gun. You get one of those in MS Saga, and the left arm's a metal shield, which you get in the beginning of MS Saga. You know. I've been playing a lot of that recently, it's just weird. And some of Gettles, I think. Yeah, something like that. Um, that's the Guava. So, who do we have as pilots? Yep, Gato, that guy. Four, six. Thirteen pilots. And we're probably gonna lose six of them. Um, I think if Delaz gets assassinated, we actually lose since he's our leader. Um, that's the Efrit. It gets turned into the one with the exam system, but it isn't the one with the exam system. We can build gauze. That's nice. Um, whoops. Yeah. An Isaac, or not an Isaac. That's a Zuda with the eye modification. I don't remember what it's called. Radar Zaku. Always fun. Uh, Zuncrello. It's the Rocket Zaku. I probably won't be using those, but they allow you to turn your Zakus into Doms. Huh. I usually do most of this off camera, so I know what I'm doing. Um, this is a doubtage. Yeah, so I'm not doing anything off camera in this one. Okay, yeah, we don't have the exam system, which sucks, but. First off, though. That is really annoying, and it's a lot louder than what you guys are gonna hear, because I'm gonna modify it later. But yeah, so we're facing both the Federation and the Titans. Which we have five turns where they won't move, so I need to choose which one I wanna take on first. Um, I don't know if this is just considered unoccupied or if this is neutral like it was in the Federation one. I'm going to assume it's neutral. Um, let's see. Dumbs. These are space capable, so we're going to research those. That was a lot of money for those, though. These are really good, but really expensive. I'm not going to research them for a long time. Rhinos. Um, okay. I've never found what's useful about these guys. They have a long attack range, but they can't really do anything like 
Um, one of those land battleships the Federation can can outgun them and have more health, so. Yeah. I'm very much not on mobile bases. Um, you know what? This is only a thousand, so. Yeah. Um, I have to wait the full time to develop these since I could pay double to get them to develop faster, but I don't have that kind of money. I'm actually a level away from Gegalogs. Or Gelgogs. So, not doing the full investment so I can save some money. Huh, this is a tough one. I believe this is the capital of the Titans. I will. I have to take all their other bases before I can take their capital. Um, the Federation and the Titans won't directly fight each other, but they'll still reinforce each other's borders. Like so, they'll be all. They'll reinforce here and here since they border with an enemy, even if they're not going to attack. The Federation and the Federation will do the same. So you just kind of have to ignore it. Um. Okay, so. I think I'm going to attack this way and try to capture Granada, Side 3, and Abo Q. Um, I don't know when, but Gato will be bombing Solomon, I think. So I don't want to attack those just yet. I need to research, or I need to build a bunch of units. Um, are these space capable? Yeah, they're space capable. So, I don't know when they're going to do it, but I think he's going to blow up Solomon, so I'm not going to attack it right now. Unless... Hmm. Oh wow, that's a little Marlene. Okay, so first I'm going to load all the Gagalogs on there. And I'm going to upgrade this to a normal Zaku. Um, okay, this is the Rick Dom, and this is just the Dom. So, Rick Doms can't move on the Earth, and Doms can't move in space. So I'm leaving it as a Rick Dom for now. Okay, so those are all Fs. So these guys are going down. They're going over. Um, those aren't space capable. Huh. Flight golfs aren't space capable either. That sucks. And neither is the effort. Hey, I might be able to get the the effort with the exam system. I don't actually know. Um, I'm gonna use a lot of these when I'm down on Earth trying to capture stuff. Because when you have water provinces, they are really deadly. Like, the Hiyakoshiki Kai is the best underwater, but those guys can fight one of them if you team up enough. I can actually research Doms, I think. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> right. Thirteen twenty seven versus twelve eighteen. Yeah, these are the best ones I can get so far. Seventeen thirty twenty eight. So I prefer the range to attack on the golf. Um, okay, that's the high speed. If I get Johnny Ridden, I'll use one of the high speed. I'll give him a high speed Zaku so I can get the full bullet Zaku, but till then. Um, yeah, those are pretty much the same price. I'm just gonna add a bunch of Zakus down here, probably desert Zakus. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm still at the point in the game where I have more credits than I do resources. Eventually, it'll turn to where I need the resources and I don't have the... Or I need the credits and I have the resources. And that's why there's an option to buy... Uh, to trade resources for credits, but to, not to buy uh, resources with credits. Which is weird, but it's actually pretty good planning. So, Tsima's actually going to attack this fleet, because I don't think there's anything... Or this group. So I don't think there's anything here, then... I'll have them go attack Solomon, and then hopefully I'll move, I'll have like, uh, the laws and those people attack here and then attack, uh, Abo Q. These people I'll have go down here, attack here, 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 then attack Granada, and hopefully by then I'll have side three also, and I can just put up a front, I can fortify here, 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 I can start moving over to side three, and then grab the rest of this. I'll have to leave a unit here since I'll have to capture the Earth since uh, before I can take the cat, the Titan's capital. And then I'll just have a bunch of units patrolling around the Earth while the enemy keeps trying to send units up. And while I'm at it... Yeah. I didn't know what that said. That was weird. I keep forgetting it's Drossy, not Droxy. And Gettles. I really don't like Gettles, but I'll use them. Hmm, not space able. Space capable, but it only has one unit. Totally worth it, but I don't want to pay for it. And these are the sniper platforms. Which are good at a range, but they can't take a hit, so I'm not going to do that. I've invested, yep. Alright. I believe the enemy won't start moving for five turns, so I should be okay. I like to assume that guy has a unicorn horn. Just because it would look, make him look a little bit more ridiculous. It's a core booster. I'm not worrying about that. Um, that's a Magellan, and I don't know what's in there. But yeah, probably what this unit. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to uh, have them attack here, wait next turn, so they can get all their HP and energy back. And then I'll go and attack uh, Solomon. Fuck, they have a Gundam. Maybe it's a Gundam Hazel. But I don't think they're supposed to have developed those yet. I'm gonna lead with Seema. She has a really, really nice dodge chance. I don't know if she gets a new type rating if you fully level her up. I don't think she does, but she might. She has a really good dodge chance without that, though. Okay, so there's three units here. Oh, the core booster and the Magellan are back there. Come on, move somebody closer to me. God damn it. Yeah, this battle will probably take two turns. Actually, this is also scan. Yeah, okay, I can only spread particles. This also scans them, so it wastes some ammo, and the enemy's probably gonna come after me. But uh, it's worth it, I guess. I'll be able to figure out what they have. I actually know what that was, but the other one was a GM sniper. Has head Vulcans, though. 
shit. Wow. Wow. I was not expecting that at all. It's a gun to Malix. Didn't know that was in this campaign, but whatever. First off. Yeah. I mean, not recognizing it just points to how many times I've actually seen the Gundam Alex used. Because unless you're Zeon and wait till Operation Rubicon, like way at the end of their campaign, it's a lot better to just wait for, um, to try to win the Federation one early so you get like Big Zom and, yeah, you get the Big Zom designs, you get most of the aquatic Zeon ones, and you have... You have a lot of the better units. Oh, and the um, Commander Gegalog actually has head Vulcans. Damn it. Yeah, I always thought that was weird that the Commander Gegalog had head Vulcans. It's a very Federation thing to have, and I thought only uh, Char's Gagalog had that. I think he po or he might have piloted a core booster, but I thought he piloted uh, one of the gun tanks or gun cannons and uh, War in the Pocket. That's what it's called. Okay. Okay, I officially have no idea what the fuck's going on, because that was Slegger. He's dead. Unless Dozel's still alive somewhere. Like, what the fuck? Ah, it's a Magellan Kai. Okay, so... I wasn't expecting a Gundam? And especially not the Gundam Alex, but we can work with that. Okay. Actually, how much are we making per turn? We're making 3,000. So. How many troops do they got there? Four. We have nine. Anything we can upgrade? No, we have a lot of high-speed Zakus. Yeah, see, they're defending against the Titans. Like, I can't even touch them. Like, these ones have reason, but they're defending against each other. Like, they know the Titans are going to backstab them. Um, what do we have here? Desert, desert, cannon, flight golf... Um, I'm actually just not going to move down here just yet. If they do attack, I'll move back and delay the attack and have somebody else come and reinforce them. But, um, I don't really want to move on here till I captured most of space, cause, so I can focus all my money on taking space and getting a pretty nice resource income. Because while Odessa does get you the most resources in the game... Fuck, I forgot to research, or to invest in research. At least I did spying. But Odessa gives you the most, like, uh, resources for an actual battle, or for an actual province. Space altogether is really nice. Okay, so some GMs, a couple of Magellans and Salamises. They have action Zakus. It's a Zaku 2 sniper. Um... Yeah, those are unoccupied territories. 
So, I think they might have actually taken the defenders out of uh, Abo Q to help them defend. Or not Abo Q, out of Solomon to help them defend here. Which, if they did, will be really nice. So, the trick what I need to do is I need to get them to attack me in small groups. Because the, le the more damage I can do to a unit, I can destroy it and equal up the playing field early. But if they attack me in a big group, I will have problems. That's a Galbaldi A. Those are two action Zakus. GM Sniper. Um, the GM Kai. GM Sniper. The Gun Cannon. Or either a Gun Cannon or a Gun Cannon 2. I don't know. It only shows one, uh, one cannon. That's a Magellan Kai, and that, or, these are both Salamis Kais, I mean, not Magellan. So, hopefully those action Zakus will get close enough, I'll scan them, and have all eight units attack them. Next turn. Can I scan them from here? No. I think this is the button that puts the leader into a mobile suit. I've never actually seen that useful except for when you have Big Zom in there and moving Dozel into Big Zom before. Uh, yeah, move Dozel into a Big Zom and then have him attack, retreat back to the ship, start piloting the ship again. It's a really cheaty thing to do, but it's real useful. Okay, so. Scan these two. I got this one. Yeah. They have laser weapons, so they do extra damage to me. And as far as health goes, those are Gettles. Yeah, they have more than my units do. Oh, they have more than the they have more health than the Dom does. Whoops. Troxies, yeah. This might be a really bad idea. Fuck, I moved them too close. Well, shit. And... Hopefully these guys down here can destroy them. I'm gonna take some casualties on this one. Hey, cat. Yeah, I lost a dom. Yeah, this unit will probably get destroyed. Eh. Okay. So... That unit's retreating next turn. Definitely. Okay, how many units can this thing carry? I think it's four. Three. Okay. I'm heading out with the uh, Valvaro to head the attack, and then I'll have my Zakus come in as 
uh, support. Oh, they're reinforcing it with some snipers over there. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, the Valvaro has that kind of eye field thing, so it takes less damage from beam, we beam weapons. So... Yeah, you can't do anything. I'm gonna try to get them to attack the Valvaro and then have the Zakus come in to reinforce and do enough damage to kill them all. Yeah. Can't really tell if he only has one arm or not. He's supposed to only have one arm. But I don't think they paid to have... God, I love that. Um, I don't think they would have paid to have another sprite drawn up for him for just the Dua stuff. Yeah, and that took barely any energy either. Oh, and he can scan. Let's see, this is uh, GM Kai. Yeah, I'm just leaving the ghetto there. I'm assuming those Zakus can destroy that GM. It had like 15 HP. Oh, 22 HP. I really wish I could research action Zakus right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to be relying on mobile armors for this one. Because that's one Z thing Xeon does do better. I think only the GPO the GPO 3 is the only mobile armor that the Federation has. Well, unless you count, like, Psycho Gundam and stuff, but I don't. I wonder how the Valvario will do against another ship. I'll probably have to find out next time, but... Oh, it's only turn four. Um, yeah, after this attack, they're definitely gonna need another turn to heal. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna. He's ne gonna need to heal. Mm -hmm. He's gonna need to heal energy, actually. Yeah, it's pretty impressive that Ko actually managed to destroy it with just the full burner. Okay. How's Sima and them looking? Not even touched. Um, two and two, three and three. Okay, they're probably gonna counterattack this one so they take less damage, but the GP or the uh, Gundam Alex is screwed either way. Oh shit, I didn't notice that one. <laughs> Whoops. And just some of those. Okay. The Alex will be destroyed, those GMs might survive, but if they do. The amount of damage they will be able to do won't really matter. And hopefully I can destroy this thing. Go on, 
何が探しいねそんなに死にたいのかい Wow. He got countered, then destroyed. <laughs> now Mackenzie's or Christina's wounded. Yeah, I thought they would attack that. Luckily, they have more health than. Oh, there's a Gagalog in there. Totally forgot about that. But oh well. I can easily replace that one Gagalog we lost. Oh wow. Ah, uh, good. I thought for a second there we wouldn't be able to catch them. Would have sucked. I gotta repair these people and then I'll let them wait for a turn to re heal. Mm -hmm. Um, Dawaz is going to retreat. I developed some the Zigok. We got, er, we're getting attacked somewhere, I think. Let's see. If I load them up, have the Guadon retreat over to here, and I bring in some reinforcements, I might be able to cover my retreat. Because they don't have that many units, actually. It's just I wasn't attacking them with very many good units. Yeah, so. I might not have to fully retreat, but I'm going to have to reinforce them there. Oh yeah, this is the one. Okay. Uh, they healed for some reason. They don't do that in the other campaign. There might be a reason why, and I'm just not noticing it. But I'm gonna have them attack anyway. Or is there anyone there? Yeah. I'm just gonna leave this here, because they'll think they control it, so they'll try to go around it, even when there's only like no one there. Um, did they heal too? Some of them did. See. Um, I'm gonna leave him here so the little Marlene can heal. And while I'm paying attention, and now I might be able to steal some of their designs. Yeah, I'll research that. It's a cheap ship. For, it's pretty much getting a ship for 500. And... Okay. I have an HLV there. Or I should move these units to like half here, half here, a little bit there and a little bit there so that they look stronger, but I'm just gonna leave them. Might not be a good idea, but... Oh well. Um... 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 They're developing the Gundam 3 there. That first one. G-3... And it ends in Moo. Um. Okay, I have to let them heal. That is bullshit. They're building a Gundam. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, um, it's 
been 40 minutes, so I'm actually gonna cut this, but I'm gonna cut it here, probably. Anyway, you know, fuck it, I'll just save over it. But yeah, that save was right before Glemmy's Axis appeared. Um, in the Axis campaign, there's this event where if you don't have a certain moral standing when it have if you don't have the certain percent law, which I think it's 800, um, Glemmy will just kill you straight off. You don't even get a chance. So I had to keep saving and trying to delay taking places till I had the right law and then having the event fire and Glemmy wouldn't kill me, he would trust me and then try to kill me later. I eventually got it, but it took forever. I was done by like turn 55, but it just kept taking on and on and on. But anyway, that was the end of this episode. I will be back in a second to record more, and you'll probably, this will probably be uploaded about half hour later. So I hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes.